Hello guys, this is another episode of uh, Serverless Journey, Serverless Zero to Hero. So I hope you have done the practical um, from the last video and also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet and also make sure uh, end of the, this video you share this video on your social media so we can find more people who are interested into this sort of content and most pe more people who want to learn serverless okay uh, so stay in uh, touch with my facebook uh, instagram 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 not instagram instagram so uh, stay in touch with my Facebook and Instagram. I'll put the links below, All right? Um, so let's see today what we are going to uh, learn. So in last video, I explained how we can use API Gateway, right? So we created some uh, sample API as well. So today we are going to create our first ever Lambda function, All right? So I explained what the Lambda is and how the Lambda works and how the servers work in general in my last videos, right? So if you're not uh, going through those, you must watch before this one. So today we are going to create a very first simple Lambda function and I'm going to show you uh, in the next video how to integrate with that with the API gateway. So if you take a Lambda, uh, we are going to write this right now in this video in within the console But writing a lambda in a console is not pleasant at all, right? So we have a serverless framework open source framework, which is uh, Clearly targeting to make your life easy. So we are going to learn that so that means we can use our uh, Code or some other IDE to write the lambda functions, but till that as an introduction videos I'm going to show you through uh, these consoles, right? So as usual, you can go here and you can uh, uh, search for Lambda. So you will get this one Right, so I'm using a US uh, East one, which is a North Virginia So here I don't have any any Lambda function here, right? So I'm going to create a very first one and you have multiple options uh, to create Lambda functions. For example, you can author from the scratch and you can use a blueprint so that mean uh, there are few uh, uh, sta few already existing um, lambda blueprint you can use that and you can customize your uh, lambdas and then uh, there's a new one you have a container image right so you can have a, a container image to deploy the function and uh, there's a serverless repository you can browse that and you can uh, take it from there as well so we are going to use the blueprint also in future, but for this one, I'm going to order from the scratch because you want to learn that. So I'm going to name my function as a hello, right? So because this is sample welcome function. So in a runtime, you can choose any runtime you familiar with, right? So I told you in this uh, course, I'm going to uh, go with the Node.js, but if you're not familiar with the Node.js, or if you don't want to learn Node.js, so you're welcome to go with the Java, or you can have a Python, or you can have a .NET, you can have a Go, and not only that, so you have so many other languages you can use with uh, Lambda functions, right, for the Lambda function. But for this course, uh, I'm going to use Node.js 12.x, which is the uh, latest uh, runtime, latest not runtime for um, Lambda, right. So here, if you want, you can create um, a new role uh, with the, uh, as you want, right? But I'm not going to create a, a exist. I'm not going to use existing role. I'm going to keep it the default uh, options so that will uh, easy for you, right? So these things I'm not going to use for now because this is an introduction video. So I'm going to create function. So that will uh, comes like this. I use uh, I selected Node.js uh, 12.x, right? So now I'm going to create my function. Okay, so this is the uh, first interface you are getting here, right? So you can see here, uh, you have something called layers, which is we are going to discuss in future videos, because keep in mind, we are going to go very deep to the maximum of Lambda, right? So we are going to discuss all of these uh, features, uh, logging and all of these, right? So we are not going to skip anything, right? So the layers we are going to discuss, layer is nothing but uh, you can keep common libraries uh, in a common uh, layer. For example, let's say uh, you have in your, your API stack, you may have a 
10 lambda functions, right? So those 10 lambda functions may talk to same database. It can be a MongoDB, it can be MySQL, or it can be anything, right? Or may using uh, JSON parsers, or you may using some XML parsers, or you may using some some sort of a li uh, Excel libraries, right? So you what you can do is you can take those modules and put into single layer and uh, use it here. So that will uh, and also you can use your common functions, kind of util functions here as well, right? We, we can discuss how these layers work in detail, right? So here you have a, a boilerplate code. So you have a kind of a sample, right? And again, I'm saying we don't uh, write this lambda function within the console, right? We're using a uh, serverless framework and through the, some IDAs, okay? So here, so you can see uh, it constructs the response. So it says uh, JSON the string for hello from lambda. So I'm going to little customize this, right? Hello from serverless lambda on. So I'm going to uh, concat. Uh, so date here. So you can see uh, it changing dynamically there, right? So that's it. I'm going to keep that as it is, right? So the response. So I'm going to uh, deploy this, right? So now. You, if you remember, in the last video, I explained lambda is a, or your serverless code is a kind of a sleeping worker, right? It's sleeping, right? So someone has to poke and uh, give some work, and, and someone has to poke and say, "Hey, you have work to do." So now we created this sleeping worker, but to test this, someone has to poke, right? For that, we need to use a, a test. So to test, we need to uh, configure an event, right? So in this uh, particular example, we don't use any external parameter. So by default, this one is fine, right? But if you want, you can have uh, multiple uh, events to uh, trigger the lambda sample events like S3 put, SQS, and DB update, Dy Dynamo DB, right? We are going to use those in the future. So so far, uh, we can go with this uh, sample event. You just create this, okay? So the name is uh, sample. I'm going to give a name as sample. And this I can sample event. So now I can test this, right? So when I test this, so you will see I get the response whatever uh, I uh, created here, right? So now it says 202234. If I test again and test again, so you can see it's dynamically changing. So this is our very first lambda function, okay? So now, so as I mentioned, this is sleeping. Right, so this is sleeping worker. There is no weight for us. There is no memory. There is no processing power consumed. So there is no bill for you. You can keep this for years and years. Uh, AWS won't bill you, right? But AWS will bill you uh, for execution time. For example, if you see this, you can see you executed twenty point eight four milliseconds, right? So build duration is 21 milliseconds, right? And uh, the uh, memory size is 128 MB, right? So and so forth. So we are going to see these, uh, what are those memory size and so on, uh, all those things. But you, what you want to understand, you only get bill for what you use. And out of those also, as I remember, 1 million requests for every month is free for you, right? So you can use this without any um, hesitation on your uh, so program. So if you uh, see here the, uh, the parameters you can configure, so you can see the memory size is 128 megabyte, right? So if you think you need more memory for this, right? So you can go edit here and you can specify I need 256, I need 512, I need uh, 1 GB or whatever the memory is you need, right? So timeout, it's set for, uh, Three seconds, right? So um, uh, it is it three seconds? If you want, if you think your function needed like thirty second timeout or something like that, you can you can configure that. So as I am recording this video, AWS Lambda function can go up to fifteen minutes working time, right? So only fifteen minutes. So if you have something which is take more than fifteen minutes then uh, Lambda won't work for you, right? Because the Lambda will only Lambda lifetime for one uh, execution is a 15 minutes. But if you have something go beyond 15 minutes, you can use a step function. Again, uh, inside the step function, you can use Lambda, right? So 
this is stopping you to use serverless programming even your process take more than 15 minutes but what i mean that you cannot use single lambda for that okay so that's basic about lambda so all those features uh, we are going to uh, use and learn eventually for example monitoring x-ray and environment variable and all those things we are going to learn eventually when we go deeper in the next video i'm going to connect this lambda with the api gateway we created api we created right so now in that case you can from outside you can invoke this uh, lambda invoke the api and get into this lambda and get this work done and take the response uh, to back okay so then uh, make sure you comment uh, if you have any questions or like and share this video so we can find more people for the content then stay safe take care